Hello children, hope you are fine. This is Radha, your English teacher. Yes, children, in today's class, we are going to talk about a very beautiful fruit. Where we all of us like it. Yes, it is an apple fruit. So now here, the poet talks about a person who, who does an apple picking job. And what he feels about his journey while picking the apple or after picking the apple, what he feels. This is what here the poet Robert describes. So let us get into the poem and understand. Before starting the poem, let us understand the poet, what he has achieved. After apple picking, written by Robert Lee Frost, 1874 to 63. He was a famous American poet. He was a famous American poet and his famous work, A Boy's Will in 1913 and A Witness Tree in 1942. Now here Robert Frost has written a poem talking about Read the name of the lesson after apple picking. So here the name itself gives you an idea. After picking up the apples, what has happened? Okay, now we will understand the poem. My long two pointed ladders streaking through a tree towards heaven still and there is a barrel that I didn't fill beside it and there may be two or more apples I didn't pick upon some bow but I am done with apple picking now essence of winter sleep is on the night the scent of apples I am drowsing off. I cannot rub the strangeness from my sight. I got from looking through a pane of glass. I skimmed this morning from the drinking trough and held against the wells of horny grass. I melted and I let it fall and break but I was well upon my way to sleep before it fell. And I could tell what form my dreaming was about to take. Magnified apples appeared and disappeared. Steam end and blossom end. And every fleek and rustled showing clear. My instep arc, arc not only keeps the ache, it keeps the pressure of a ladder round. I feel the ladder sway as the bow bend, and I keep hearing from the cellar bin the rumbling sound of load and load of apples coming in. For I have had too much of apple pickings, I am overtired of the great harvest I myself desired. There were ten thousands, thousands fruit to touch, cherish in my hand, lift down and not let fall. For all that stuck the earth, no matter if not bruised or spiked with stubble, went surely to the cyber apple heap. As of now, worth one can see what will trouble this sleep of mine, whatever sleep it is. Where he was not gone, the woodchuck could say whether it's like this long sleep, as I described, it's coming on or just some human sleep. Yes, the poet here describes about an apple picker, his job, what he does and how he does 
and how tired he feels about picking up apples he describes so let us understand here the poem children my long two pointed ladder sticking through a tree can you all see the picture here so here i have done a small apple tree which talks about the ladder and here the apple picker that is the person who picks the apple he was in the in the garden and here he has done this arrangements he has put a, a ladder here and he has pointed here it means that it is stuck to this apple tree so that it is easy for him to pluck the apples this is the arrangement what he has done so now here what happens he this is his duty everyday duty he has to go on tree to tree he has to fix the ladder and he has to pluck the apples and collect it in the basket this is what his job was so let us understand his feelings like as he was doing the job what happened to him towards heaven still and there is a barrel that i didn't fill now here he says i have a ladder and i have many uh, now there are many apples on the trees now i have to pluck them and fill it into the basket but i still haven't done beside it and there may be two or three apples i didn't pick up some bow means there are the branches of trees and on that there are many apples but still i haven't plucked them yet he says who says the apple plucker but i'm done with apple picking now he says i am tired of picking so many apples it means at the end of the day he he says that how many apples can i pluck i am done for this day essence of winter sleep is on the night the scent of apples i am drowsing off now he says i am done with apple plucking he says my daily job is to picking up apples and transferring the transforming the ladder from one tree and other tree fixing them up plucking the apples this is what i was doing but now i am done i am done for the day he says because the winter the the winter is making him so tired so sleepy because of the weather children you all you all actually know apples are grown in a cool place in a cold climate place so he seems to say that the weather is so uh, the winter weather is making me very chill the weather is making me very cold now it's time for me to sleep and he also says the because i am in the apple garden the smell the 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 fragrance i he says the scent of the apples are making me fall asleep it means making him feeling drowsy i can't rub the strangeness from my sight i got from looking through a pane of glass here he says the weather is almost chill and i can feel the eyes on the grass i can see the cubes on the grass here pain on the plane pain means a sheet of glass okay so here he says i can feel the the pinch of the uh, eyes on the grass he says it is so cold i skimmed this morning from the drinking trough and held against the world of horny grass it melted and i let it fall and break but i was well upon my way to sleep before it fell so as here he is describing i was so tired i was so exhausted doing my job finally when i was trying to pluck one apple when it was about to fall because i was so sleepy but i did not allow that apple to fall down he says yeah 
I skimmed this morning from the drinking trough and held against the world of horny grass. He says, I'm totally tired now. I'm done for the day. It melted and I let it fall and break, but I was well upon my way to sleep before it fall. And I could tell what form my dream was about to take. Magnified apples appear and disappear. Now he says, although he has not yet slept, he says, even in my dream, I get this magnified apple, means the big apple, the bigger apple he gets in his dream. Some are appearing and some are disappearing, even in my dream, he says. And I could tell what form my dreaming was about to take. Magnified apples and appear and disappear. Stem ends and blossom end. And every fleek of russet showing clear. Here russet means, here the poet describes about the color of the apple. Here, here the poet describes about the dream and the color of the apple. Russet means the color of the apple. That is the brown, dark brown reddish, not the pure or thick reddish apple. Here he says that russet showing clear. My instep arch not only keeps the Ache. He says, now, now I'm so exhausted, I'm so tired, I'm feeling so sleepy that my feet, that is my instep, that is my legs are paining a lot, he says. It keeps the pressure of a ladder round, he says. It, because of the pressure carrying the ladder from one place to another, plucking up the trees, collecting the apples, putting it into the basket, it is not an easy task. I feel the ladder swan as they bow bend. And I keep hearing from the cellar bin the rumbling sound. So now here what happened? His ladder, he is very much scared. The ladder, it may fall any time because it's becoming uh, used and used. And it may fall any time. He's all thinking of all this. I feel the ladder swan as the bow bends. Means the trunk of the tree may fall or the ladder may skip. Something like that he's feeling. It may fall. And I keep hearing from the cellular bin the rumbling sound of load on loads of apple coming in. For I have too much of apple picking, I am overtired. So he is so tired here picking up apples. He says, there are so many apples to be plucked yet. Of the great harvest, I myself desire there are 10,000 thousands fruit to touch. Here, 10,000 and thousand is a hyperbole. That is the figure of speech. It is exaggerating. 10,000 to thousands of apples I need to still pluck for the day, he says. I have to touch so many apples. I have to touch the fruit. I have to pluck them up. Thousands to ten thousands of apples. Cherish in hand. Lift down and not let fall. Here he also says that I must be so careful that each and every apple is saved. It should not fall down. Because what happens when the apple falls down, they may go damaged or they cannot be, uh, they cannot be used as a fruit to sell. Because damaged fruit nobody will buy. So here he says I should be very careful while plucking the apples. They are not supposed to fall down. Cherish in hand, lift down and not let fall. This is the figure of speech again here. Alliteration. Lift down and not let fall. It is an alliteration. Figure of speech. For all that stuck the earth. 
no matter if not bruised or spiked with stubble went surely to the cyber apple heap now here he says i should make sure that all the apples are safe and fine they should not be damaged they should not be fallen down so i'm sure if they fall down they will become juice they are going to convert into juice that is what here he says cider apple it means juice as of now what one can see what will trouble the sleep of mine whatever sleep it is where he not gone now here the poet you can feel that he is completely talking about the sleep of the apple picker his sleep is disturbed the work was what he is doing is too much he has so much of work and so much of apples to be picked up and collected put it in the basket and go uh, and go give it to the person concerned person there's lot of procedures for him so here he says he is disturbed a lot about his sleep here okay as of no worth one can see what will trouble the sleep is mine whatever sleep it is where he not gone the wood chunk here it he refers to an animal a, a small animal which does not have a complete sleep he sleeps he wake up he sleeps he wake up so here he is comparing to a wood chunk it's an animal to this apple picker would say whether it is like his long sleep or as i describe it's coming on or just some human sleep i don't understand what kind of sleep here i am doing is this a uh, a uh, uh, animal sleep or is it a human sleep i am confused about this the overall poem talks about an apple picker how he does his job and how difficult his job is and what happens during his journey he is talking about that is the robert post has described the pain the 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 journey of an apple picker okay children i hope you have understood the poem yes did you understand the poem okay now let's have the meaning here bow bow the main branch of the tree bow the main branch of the tree barrel it is a basket barrel means it is a basket and pain here i have given sheet of glass okay pan pain a sheet of glass okay a skimmed removed a substance from the surface of a liquid skimmed skimmed milk we say right skimmed a remove a substance from the surface of a liquid do you understand children this is the poet where he is describing about all his experiences okay children i hope you understood this form thank you